Hey everyone, welcome to Piccadilly Stamping. I'm Pamela Pick. So today I'm going to do something just a little bit different. Um, Christmas is almost here and our holiday season is kind of wrapping up. We're getting down to the little uh, end. And sometimes when you get down to the end of the season, you have leftovers. So I just kind of want to show you something that I did. Um, in our holiday catalog, I purchased this year this wonderful paper and it is on page 12 and it's it's the Merry Little Christmas Designer Series paper and I love this paper because it was just black, white and our old olive color and so you can see all the little things here in the catalog that they did with this paper for decorating and card making. So, love it. But, as I was getting towards the end, I had leftover of this paper. And it is very Christmassy on one side with snowflakes, and on the other side it is this um, old olive green, which is kind of a bright green. And, um, uh, black and white. So, um, I thought, well, I wonder how I'm going to use that up. Um, so, I was looking through our catalog and I had a wonderful friend give me this petal garden, and I don't know if this is in the camera or not, this petal garden uh, Memories and More card pack, and it was um, $1.92. Now, I don't know about you. Some people are very good at the scrapbooking thing. I am not. I am more of a card maker than I am a scrapbooker. But, I mean, I love this set. And so she gave it to me. No strings attached, just for me to have. And it comes with all kinds of goodies in it. There's these beautiful gold embellished pieces that you can use um, on photos and um, backgrounds and there's um, some stickers and they're I they're really pretty stickers and I love the color pattern it is our calypso coral and um, we've got some of the sweet sugar plum and the fig and it has all these pretty sayings on them um, some of them are for journaling, but see now, that to me, I think that could be used for a um, part of a card. And I'm, I'm going to show you some ideas of what I did on some of these. But they're great. This is perfect. I actually cut this off on one of the cards, and um, I used that as my sentiment. Let me see if I can find that here. I made a bunch of cards with this stuff. But let me just show you if I can find that one quick. And I think I'm just going to go through this card pack um, with you guys. Oh, sure. The minute you want to find it, you can't. Oh, I know it's here. Okay, here it is. So, I just cut off that Enjoy Life, and I used another um, one of these background cards. I matted them on black on a white base and added just a little embellishment with what I had. I mean, I could add some, um, I suppose maybe some pearls or rhinestones or something on that, but I, you get the idea, I think, of how I use that card. And then I use the other side for something else. So um, it comes with these great cards. So I was thinking to myself, how can I incorporate these, um, this Memories and More uh, Petal Garden Pack, how do I incorporate that? Well, I needed just a little something extra, and I went and got that paper pack because I thought, oh, I can make some cards with these colors. It'd go great with the black and white plus the green. And these are kind of the, the um, cardstock colors that were in that pack. Um, memories and more pack so I thought I could do that but I need a stamp set and a, and a few embellishments well sometimes our teeny tiny wishes which is on page 36 of our of our annual catalog sometimes I think we forget this stamp set it's got about everything in it 
and I love it. Mine's, I still have mine in the wood block. I should probably order in the clear mount, um, but sometimes I just like this wood block. Sometimes it's just nice to have it in the wood block. Um, you know, um, this one, it, especially, I use my stamp -a jig a lot until that Stamparatus comes in. This is perfect for me so far. So I have my little stamp set, and I thought, okay, I have my paper pack, and I have my Memories and More card pack. So let me just show you here a bunch of the cards. Like, I literally made a bunch of cards so easily. So here's that one I was just showing you. Simple. I didn't even have to do any stamping. It was just kind of some matting. Okay, here's some. This was the card. It already had the decorations. You make me smile. I added a little bit of old olive uh, twine, and this is that paper from the paper pack. And I... See, there's, there's a little piece of it. I love it. So I just used that as the background. I popped it up on some dimensionals. Voila, instant card. Here's another one. This one was one of the sayings that was in the card pack. I cut it off, and here I told you I used um, from that, from this card where I used this, the other side had that, so I used some of the DSP from the Designer Series paper pack, um, and then I added some wooden embellishments, and these are also in our catalog. And you can do it kind of the natural side, or you can do it, and I've done it both in here, but these are uh, touches of nature elements. So I just added some flowers to that and a little bit of some of the fresh fig uh, ribbon. So here I did the same with the touches of elements there. This was their card, and I don't know if you can see, but it's got like this little dotting on the bottom, but so did one of the background cards. So there's two different sizes. There's these little cards, and then there's these bigger cards. See, and they have pretty designs on them. So I use them just like the DSP. Um, this one, all I did is a matting of old olive, and there I've got an easy card. Okay, now here, this was actually the card. And this was a piece of that scrap DSP that you saw me use earlier. So I just added a little ribbon and a little baker's twine to add a little interest. And I used for the newlyweds, now this is out of that Teeny Tiny Wishes. And I'm gonna point out how many different things I did with the Teeny Tiny Wishes. But isn't that cute? Just a matting, pop it up, good to go. Same thing here. The only thing that I added was a little uh, baker's twine bow. This is the background paper from the DSP that is retiring, but the Christmas stuff, but I'm using it up. It doesn't look Christmassy at all. This was already done up for me, so all I had to do was mat it. Okay, here's another one. This is the background paper, the DSP. It goes perfectly with this little rose. This was one of the little card packs. I matted it. I used a With Sympathy from the Teeny Tiny Wishes. Way cute. Um, again, here I just added some um, gold sequins from our gold sequins coming out. And this is a punch that fits perfectly for the Teeny Tiny Wishes. Let's see if I've got it right here. It is called a classic label punch. And so I just popped that up on some dimensionals that was beautiful enough as it is. Teeny tiny wishes, so there's some. Here's the same idea, popped it up. Teeny tiny wishes, a happy birthday card. You know, I just used the DSP that is retiring. What I'm trying to teach you is, is one good stamp set, um, some DSP. Look for alternate ways to use your DSP so you don't just get hordes of it sitting there. So here again, this viney DSP, which is going out, went perfectly with this rose. I added a little bit of some ribbon and a thinking of you from Teeny Tiny Wishes. 
Now this one was just the DSP background. This was the card, Love Makes the, the World Go Round, and I thought, you know, that's pretty enough. That can be uh, just a note card. It can be, um, you know, for a wedding. It just whatever you want to make it. And I thought I just did a, a sweet little matting on there. Instant. You can add pearls to these things too. Here's another one. I used the DSP and I put Get Well Wishes again with the classic label punch and again with the Teeny Weeny Wishes stamp set. So this one here, oh these are falling down. <clears throat> this one here the card just said make it a good day and it had the calypso coral in the green so I used some more of the green from the um, uh, Merry Little Christmas designer series pack this is one of the stickers and since it was already sticky I just used a little of the gold metallic thread and I don't know it's hard for me to see in the phone that I'm using how well you see these okay here's one Happy Mother's Day, Teeny Tiny Wishes, Label Punch. This was already the card. I just added, again, a little bit of ribbon, popped that up, and I used one of the background cards, um, you know, to kind of mat it on. And this one here, I had this. I had cut this off from something else. There was a piece on one of those cards, and this was the back side. And so I just took a little piece of ribbon and uh, a thank you from Teeny Tiny Wishes and added some of that green uh, background. So to show you how easy this is, I don't have anything planned out, but I got a white card base and this is from uh, 11, uh, eight, 11 and a half or an eight and a half by 11 piece of card stock that I've cut in half. And then I'm just gonna fold it in half and I like to just layer up the edges like so. Put my fingers in the middle, go back with my thumb, boom. Then do the bone folder just to burnish the edge easy. So while I'm sitting here, let's just look at what we've got. Um, I really do like this purple stuff. This is pretty. That's pretty. Um, this is really neat. That could be kind of something. Maybe we could do something with that and a and a flower. You know. I do like this too. That that's pretty. So look at all this. I mean the options are really Oh, look at that. Okay, that's speaking to me. And what should we do for a background? Let's see if there's a purple or a green one that I, I like. Pastel for me. What if? No, nope. no, nope. that design here I want to keep on there. So <sighs> keep looking. Here's a, a little scrap of that DSP. Maybe I could do that with oh look at that now that's pretty this is really pretty too and it goes with the viney nope don't like it. <laughs> this is what I do is I just sit here and kind of look and see what I like. What if I flip that? Now look at that. Okay. 
So let's go to the paper pack here. I've got some. Let's just see what happens if I use some of this, if we mat it. I don't like that with it, but. That I do. Okay, so see how easy that is? So I'm going to mat this, and I'm going to go over here and cut it. Just one moment. So these little cards are 3 by 5 So I'm just going to cut a little, or 3 by 4 I mean. I'm going to cut a little border like that. Oh, I love it. Okay. Ooh, that side's pretty too. I'm going to use my green glue here and run a little bead around the edge of my card. So let's just center this. What I like about the, the glue is it gives me a minute to get that kind of centered. You can kind of wiggle it around. It's very sticky stuff. So there we go. So see how I just kind of accidentally came up, up, up on that? And I do like how this scrap kind of fits right there in that corner. So I'm going to do the same thing. And I thought I was going to use this side. And that sometimes I think you have to kind of play around with things to kind of get a feel for what you like. So I'm going to take that and stick it here. Now obviously that was not centered, so give me kind of, kind of want the same width going around the edges. There we go. And then we'll hold that down. And I think what I'm going to do is pop this up and I'm debating here I've got some gold I could do just a little little bit of gold coming out of the side do I want it coming right out of the top here oh that's kind of pretty too isn't it okay so I know I want that look at how easy that is that gives just a little shimmer. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a glue dot here. Getting kind of down on the glue dots. I'm going to roll it up just a little bit. There we go. Because I think it's okay if that just comes right out from that stem take another one just roll that up a little bit put it right there so that comes and hides right there and then I'm going to use some of these dimensionals this up like so okay now I got a phone right here in my face, so I hope I'm getting this in the right spot. Kind of lay that on there first. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. So there you go. So I just did another 
card. And you know, if you were given these to someone in a set, I mean, how cute is that? And I didn't even have to do any stamping there. I suppose I could. I wonder what it would look like if I put a... <clears throat> We have, I don't know if I'm going to like this or not, so I'm just going to try it. No, that's not too bad. Maybe I should go bigger. No, no, I think it takes away. So now you see how I do it. I just, I'll just put that on there. I think it kind of finishes it off a little bit. So there you go. Okay, well that was kind of my video for today just to show you how I took this paper pack and I looked at it and said this doesn't have to be just for Christmas just because there's stars on this side you know I could do a lumberjack theme on that side or something with floral you know um, take a look at what you have and um, make the most of it I got that set for free what am I gonna do with this set I'm not a I'm not a memory keeper unfortunately I wish I was um, but you know, how am I going to use this to make something? And I took it and I still got a lot to make, so I might be making some cards for folks. But I think it's very beautiful. I used only one stamp set because it was just easy. Otherwise, I what, what was written on there already. Um, and just a few, like I did ribbons and thread and baker's twine and um, sequins and some of these embellishments. I just had what I already had and made a whole series of cards. Beautiful cards that I can give out or donate. I like to donate cards too. So, okay, that's my video for today to show you that. If you need any of these awesome products, I do want to let you know that this paper is on our clearance rack because we're getting to the end of season and we're going to be starting our, our celebrations. And I'm going to be showing you some stuff from our celebrations here soon. But if you need any of these things, please go to... Um, PiccadillyStampin.com. I've got a link to my blog there. I've got links to my um, uh, website um, for you to place an online order. If you are doing 150 or more, do not use this hostess code. But if you are doing a $50 order or just to get this um, cardstock or maybe just to get this Memories and More set, um, Please use this hostess code, M-A-H-4-P-P-J-S. I thank you so much for visiting me today and looking and learning at how to put things together and maybe seeing things a little bit differently. And um, please pass this video on to your friends. Share it on Facebook, on your wall. I would appreciate it so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.